Hello, everyone, and welcome to my history on 2B2T in brief. Like many people, I first found out about the server 2B2T from Rusher's video. However, I didn't start playing on the server until about two weeks after the video was out. I had seen the video floating around my recommended stream. However, I thought it was too clickbaity to be real, so I never clicked on it or watched it. Eventually, though, I would watch it, and without even finishing the video, I would log onto the server. It was on a temp map at the time, and I've already gone over what happened when I first joined. Suffice to say, I was in one of FitMC's earliest videos. When the original map was finally put back up by House, I had a plan. You see, at the time, I was a YouTuber. A Kerbal Space Program YouTuber. Well, mostly. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm the Pasta and Pasta Gamer, and I just have one question for you. What are you doing here? This is my YouTube channel, you can't just, you know, come onto my YouTube channel like that. And I wanted to switch to playing Minecraft. I had tried playing on another server, Nerdcraft, and trust me, that's a story for another day. However, I knew that if I decided at that moment to make videos on 2P2T, I would be guaranteed some level of exposure. So that's exactly what I did. Every little thing that I did on the server, every little base that I built, was documented, recorded, and then edited and uploaded to my old channel. Yes, the videos were quite cringy. Not as cringy as most, I might add, but they were very cringy. I would legitimately gloat about a cobblestone pillar that I would build and call a house. It was quite sad. To make matters worse, I hadn't legitimately played the game in approximately two years at the point, and I wasn't exactly known for my skills as a builder, PvPer, or just generally existing at all in the game. About a few episodes into the series, I had founded the first semi-permanent base that I would work on for a number of episodes, and a number of years actually. The base still stood just a year ago. It all started when I spotted some spawners with my x-ray hack, which at the time was the only hack that I used, I didn't even use worst. I then used these spawners to connect together and create one massive mob farm that I could get resources and XP from. Above it, I built a giant cobblestone pillar, which I again referred to as a house, or in this case, referred to it as a mansion. Over the next few days, I would proceed to build a massive cobblestone wall around that pillar and other small buildings out on the outside. And believe me, it is cringy to say, but I actually thought that these were quality builds. Eventually, I would invite multiple people to the base. One of the first was a user by the name of Assassins07, I think. I could be getting that wrong. Eventually, I came to the conclusion that the base needed a name, so I called it Greytown. For the plain and simple fact that it was very gray. Now, if you're making 2B2T videos, you can only stay in one spot and do the same thing for so many days. And so eventually, I realized it would be better for my audience if I would start a new base. However, I needed a reason to do that, so I intentionally leaked the cords to the base. Well, this didn't get anybody to grief the base or anything, but it was just a reason, you see. It was just a reason for me to leave. Um, but anyways, I had been live streaming, and I had been talking to people in the 2B community for a while, and we wanted to start a group. Yes, the Pasta Empire on Sim PvP, it comes from 2B2T. Only back then it was called the People's Republic of Pasta, so... It was different, but you know, you get the idea. 
Now, I did what all famous 16 year olds on 2B2T do. I invited everybody I knew to this base, uh, which was called Agriculture 2. Like, I mean, everybody who was hitting me up on Skype. They got the chords. And eventually, this resulted in the base getting griefed after pretty much like two weeks. But it was actually during this period that I actually received all of the gear that I still use to this day. Um, most of it pretty much was given to me by a user by the name of Onger, um, who claimed to also be Ormonger, although I'm actually skeptical that that was, that, that was true. You know, I, I, it, it probably wasn't true. Well, anyways, that's pretty much where the story ends. After that, I kind of take it slow on Tubi and fade into nothingness. Um, I did a few news episodes um, on Tubi, and those got a ton of views. I started doing the 2 b 2 t Theory, which got thousands of views on my old channel. And then I decided to delete my old channel to get away from all of that 2 b 2 t nonsense. And, well... Guess what I'm doing now? I'm on a completely separate channel doing the same exact 2B nonsense. Well, at least I'm trying not to, but I still am. Anyways, I've been Lord Pasta, and this has been the history of a 2B2T noob. Anyways, I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>